I was just wanting to, uh, I was working on this 2012 F-150 and thought I'd show uh, anybody that's interested what these uh, Maxisys Autel scanners, uh, what all they can do, what they're capable of uh, on this year making model. Um, this particular scanner is a MS-906TS. Um, hit the wrong button. So I'm going to go ahead and auto ID. I just hooked the scanner up. <clears throat> the vehicle is running. They say just have the key on, but it's kind of hot. So I want a little bit of AC. So <clears throat> as you can see, it, it ID'd the, the VIN. So I'm going to hit OK to that. And basically what I'm going to do, uh, obviously, this does have the 5 liter in it. It's just an F-150. It is four-wheel drive. Um, hit yes to that. And so basically I'm just going to go through with... Uh, Not necessarily showing you live data and all that, but showing you what the uh, functions and the test that, that this scanner is capable of doing. Probably won't go through everything. Uh, we'll see how much stuff it uh, has to uh, to offer, and depending on what all it's got, we'll, we'll at least hit the most important things, in my opinion anyway. On these Autels, whenever the VCI, which is the, the part that plugs into the uh, diagnostic connector, it, if you see this where it says VCI, there should be a little green check mark right there. That's telling you that it has established a link um, between the scanner and the VCI. If you don't see that, then it's not going to be able, it's not going to pick anything up. And also this, so this one right here with the little green check mark, that means that uh, there is a, a car entered, a year making model entered uh, into the system, whether you manually did that or you auto ID'd it like I did. So basically right now we're just waiting for it to finally load. Um, so we'll, <clears throat> and just to kind of show you, of course, vehicle profile, we, we've already seen what that shows. Uh, it, it just shows you you know what uh, what the profile of the vehicle is uh, programming I don't know what programming is going to have um, okay programmable module installation PMI so there's some of the functions right there as far as programming Uh, we'll we'll pick one just to see what it what it has. We'll, we'll do instrument panel. So if you had to put an instrument cluster, <clears throat> okay. When the module is programmed, this module goes through a VIN verification process. The process compares the VIN in this vehicle with the one in another uh, in other modules on the vehicle. You may see the VIN verification screen over once dependent on your response to the question. So, well, there's that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the instrument panel's still all good to go. So, anyway, so there you go. That was the instrument panel verification slash program, I guess. Um, 
we'll get out of that service <clears throat> that's gonna um, basically you know oil reset things like that um, you know there you go there's the options whenever you hit uh, body let's see what chassis has braking electronic controlled power steering let's see what electrical audio um come on focus uh, obd test modules reset service functions transmission okay so hot function yeah battery monitoring system brake bleed uh key now if you need to reprogram a key you're able to do that steering throttle oil reset <coughs> diagnosis now i'm not going to do auto auto scan will scan every module on the vehicle and there's probably going to be some modules that i'm going to go ahead and start it up um there's probably going to be some modules that um have faults in them there seems to always always be so on the initial and just because it's being shown here on the screen doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to have the module with it uh depending on the option package that each vehicle has may or may not have it so just the, we're going to hit the big ones uh of course the pcm everybody always wants to see that one uh, and like I said, I'm not going to go through everything. We're going to look at active test on this particular one. We'll see what the what kind of test you can perform with it, which is obviously one of the main things for troubleshooting. You want to you want to be able to test certain things. Okay, so <clears throat> you got three pages. If you see the dots down here you've got that's three pages worth of things that you can test on this vehicle under the PCM I'm not going to click on every one of these I just you know I'm going to let you look just for a minute on each page so you can kind of tell um, what you can and can't do Okay, so I'm going to back out of this page. We'll go to the next one. Uh, we'll do ABS. Okay, you got two pages on this one. Again, this is a 2012 F-150. Okay. Quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff so far. Um Okay, this one doesn't have any active test. Uh, of course, all of them's going to have your live data, going to be able to read codes, and it'll have ECU information. So if you need to know the part number to to any of the modules, you can you can bring that up. So if you need to order a new module, you don't have to actually get access to the module before you, uh, you know, b before you can do anything. You can actually hook the scanner to it, get the uh, um, part number uh, that way. <clears throat> this is for the instrument panel. Uh, we'll do BCM1. That's usually a pretty good one. Okay, you got three pages on this one. Give you a chance to look. And these are active tests, remember. Uh, you can't change any perimeters with active test. <coughs> um, 
so you know obviously it's it, it what active test star is allows you to activate or deactivate certain components on the vehicle to uh, you know for testing okay you got I guess that's your heated seats I don't know what DCSM is this isn't a diesel so I don't know okay it, it, maybe it still has a fickle HVAC controller of course you got to have your AC if you're here if you're in Texas okay Um, where was we at? Okay. I'm not even sure what some of these are. I'm not much of a Ford guy. Okay. TPM. Now, on some Fords, you can actually change the tire size. I don't know if it's going to let you do that on this one or not. Okay. If it says, so, whenever you see a screen that says this, device unable to communicate with the control unit, that generally means that that module is not installed on the vehicle. It doesn't have that option. So, that's what I was saying at the start, is not all vehicles have, you know, just because it shows the icons up here, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to actually have that, that uh, option. I don't know if we clicked on that one or not. How about that one? Um, whoops, we did ABS, right? Do the airbag, live data. So I'm surprised. Let's go back to programming. Okay, here's one of the most important features, I think, uh, for Fords, is the program parameters. I almost forgot that one. So if you click that, this is some of the some of the things that you get. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. And I was right, you, you can program the, the tire size. I'm not going to go through any of it, but I'll show you. Not sure what police mode is. But that's some of the programming features for the uh, Ford F-150. Anyway, that's about all I got for you. If you're thinking about getting a scan tool, if you own a Ford or work on Fords, this, uh, this scan tool uh, is... is pretty nice allows you to do a lot of a lot of stuff anyway you guys take care